Okay, cool. I went to the right server. <laughs> and it's to the right channel. Okay, looks like we're going to get ready with Simo soon. Alright, so we're going to have Elemental Assassin for the, the pickup team, potentially. Yeah, Elemental Assassin for the pickup team and Conondramic for Bulletproof. Looks like Elemental Assassin won the sumo, so we're gonna get lane choice. Alright, perfect. So, this is the third match of uh, CMC T2. Uh, this was supposed to be Bulletproof versus Obey, but Obey backed out of the tournament, so uh, now Bulletproof is just playing a a show match against a group of players that just kind of got thrown together. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Bulletproof is Gangplank, DJ Blade Runner, Conondromic, and Mork. And Pug Team is Cat Productions, Elemental Assassin, Osh, and Muck Muck Waz. So, they're going to be playing on. on Mount Mayhem, which is the uh, the map that this entire round is being played on. Pretty straightforward map. Uh, uh, There's probably not going to be... No? Okay. I guess I can like fly through while they're getting ready. So, spawn drop at the start. Some supplies uh, in the air is a victory monument. Gap that you can cross. Doesn't need, need that many blocks to get across consistently. Down here is some iron. There's an ender pearl, which is which is important for the parkour potentially. Uh, fire potions and enchanting supplies down here. Once you get across, there's a mountain, the mountain that you are mayhemming on. <laughs> uh, house in here with some basic supplies underneath. Down below here is a ton of TNT supplies. And then some diamond supplies. Both teams are ready. All three wolves are on the mountain. PvP wool down through here. PvE wool through here. And go to the very end. And there's the parkour wool. Yes. <laughs> so, pretty straightforward. Pretty simple map. We'll see how the show match goes. No matter what, Bulletproof wins their match this week. And they'll be 1 0. But the uh, pug team is okay. Whatever. <laughs> Where's my co-caster? I have a co-caster. All right, and they're off, and the mod isn't working. Uh, here, mod working. Perfect. So we just missed some supplies at the start. Some early PvP pressure, cat productions with 
bridge. He got two blocks. I don't think that's fully jumpable quite yet. Uh, but Muck is continuing. Uh, it is jumpable, but he's going into the anti spies. Conodomic falls some vines. Bulletproof still doesn't have any sort of bridge quite so yet. Uh, DJ was able to make that. You can make this jump without any blocks, and DJ did make that, so he's over across trying to stop the bug team from getting across. Muck is in the iron room, and it looks like Conodromic. Looks like he's going to the iron as well. Uh, Muck has the TNT on him, so he can make a, make a cannon. Uh, I don't know if they're planning on setting one up, but a ton of PvP pressure. With the stone, he's able to block up and protect himself from Khan. <laughs> Not fully. Uh, looks like the Puck team did make it across. And they're currently around the house area, more or less. Uh, Elemental Assassin's near the top of the mountain, which is really important. Uh, DJ is inside our resources, uh, so it looks like the Pug team is going to have some pretty solid, solid control of the top of the mountain. Uh, Muck did take out Khan inside of resources, although Khan has made it back. Muck's in full iron. Uh, he's going to be difficult to take out, but Khan's able to block out and he's, he can get his own iron as well. Oh, those are some cannons. Uh, looks like it was a cannon attempt from Osh. Uh, but I don't see any damage, so... <laughs> Not quite sure what that was supposed to achieve. Oh, there's another cannon. This looks like it's probably going to be a house cannon. Uh, although... DJ getting some nice shots on him to potentially stop him. But not enough. House cannon's off. And it breaks all the, the chests. DJ has all of the food on him, which is actually probably one of the more important aspects of <laughs> the chests in here. The PvP supplies in general are really good, but the food is really, really strong to make sure that you actually get secured. But another cannon from Osh. Uh, DJ was getting some really good shots on it, and uh, from that, uh, those shots, Ash ended up dying to the to the uh, cannon shot itself. Cat was trying to make an attempt on the parkour, but he ended up dying. So uh, that's a little bit throwing away the the uh, advantage they had at the top of the mountain, which Bulletproof seems to have retaken. Uh, oh, that's. <laughs> it's gonna be a little awkward, but oh well. Uh, yeah, Elemental Almond, Assassin. Uh, it seems like he just went down to make some leather armor, and while he did that, uh, all of Bulletproof coalesced at the top of the mountain. So, uh, with the power bow that Mork has, the armor that DJ has, uh, no one scrubbed the iron chest plate quite yet, but Bulletproof has some really, really strong pressure at the top of the mountain. Uh, so Khan, Khan is geared up in full iron and looks like he's digging through. Uh, he might be digging straight to the diamond room, potentially. Uh, Gangplank did go, go down to Elemental Assassin. He might not be... What is Khan doing? Okay, he is he's going to the... to resources. So he's going to be getting bulletproof all up in diamond armor and whatnot. Mork went down to Cat Productions as well, so right, right now it's currently just DJ at the top of the mountain. Um, the bug team is coming back in full iron. Uh, Cat Productions has Cat Productions has a power bow. Elemental has a, Assassin has a power bow. Muck has a power bow. They are all geared up. Uh, Bulletproof is going to come back with some really strong gear. Yeah, uh, Khan is here in the diamond room. Looks like he used a fire resist potion to to just swim through the lava, so you can't even tell that. He entered through here. It's really interesting on that end. And he's going to be coming up out of resources and getting diamonds for his team pretty soon. Uh, but in the time that it took for him to get out and do that as well, uh, the Pug team has complete dominance on the top of the mountain right now. Gangplank went down again, and now we have Cannon coming over here from Osh to, 
take out all of the supplies on the mountain. Everything is gone. Uh, Mark did get his power bow, so the thing is still there, but the, the protection chest plate's gone, the diamond sword's gone, the potions are gone, everything is gone. Mark went down again, so it just complete dominance of the top of the mountain, and I missed all of that while that was happening. Muck ran the PvP wall, essentially uncontested, uh, just because of that dominance at the top of the mountain. DJ had to hide. Uh, they're forced way down here. Uh, Mork just kept dying. Uh, and Muck is... He did a pass around into the PvP wall, and he's doing a pass around into the parkour as well, uh, just for some extra safety. But he's running out, and by the looks of it, he's probably going to be running out uncontested. There's some more cannons coming from Mosh. Uh, does he have all the TNT from that? Yeah, he has essentially three stacks of TNT. He's just going to be running around cannoning anything in sight. So Khan is out with resources. He has five diamond blocks. Uh, presumably he got the diamond block from uh, from the iron room as well. So this is going to be a lot of armor. And he was also getting a ton of shots on, on Monk. He was down to like half heart and had to dig in and tunnel and hide and regen. So uh, giving Bulletproof a little bit more time to face up. <coughs> they have they have a, a water chest for some gear potentially, but uh, other than that, this if Osh continues, this lane is going to be looking really destroyed really quickly. We're going down again. Uh, he's just having a bad time. Uh, it looks like Muck just didn't decide to to heal up as well uh, as much. He's just choosing to run out, uh, which seemed to work. He's a little safe area. <laughs> this lane is going to get very destroyed very quickly. Quite the, quite the mayhem. Uh, Muck might be looking to just sneak this. Khan was almost able to take him out, but uh, with that little reprieve, uh, Khan looked to use that to actually gear up his entire team, and because of that, Muck is able to get out him entirely. So, uh, that lockdown is no longer possible. Right now, Bulletproof just needs to run their wolves as fast as possible. Uh, potentially faster than than the bug team can. Uh, although, the, it's going to be really difficult with the uh, stranglehold on the top of the mountain that, that the bug team has. So, Osh is coming to the end of the map. It uh, looks like we have DJ at the end of the map too. Uh, DJ might be here either either to run the wall, he doesn't have any any potions on him, but he has a ton of TNT, so he might might be looking more so to lock this down potentially than to, than to run it. He has a bed set here, he has a chest set up, so uh, he could be trying to set up some sort of lockdown. Now Osh is in here as well. Uh, does he have fire resistance? No, he <laughs> has the exact same gear as DJ, so interesting little battle there. Muck is got out with PvP and is running PvE. Uh, Gangplank is at the top of the mountain. Uh, he doesn't look like he has, doesn't look like he has a power bow, so he's a little less geared than Cap Productions, who's at the top as well. Although he's very low. <laughs> uh, who is the last one? Osh. Osh is over. Okay. Uh, although he's in the parkour. He might be trying to run it pretty soon. Or he's setting up a cannon. He, nope, he's setting up a cannon. Uh, DJ has a really nice angle on him. Uh, said block seems to be... could potentially give him a huge advantage. Um, <laughs> but DJ also has TNT, so he could just counter cannon him as well, potentially. Gangplank got shot, shot by Cat Productions. DJ got shot by himself. And it looks like Muck has just about made it to the... He has made it to the PvE wall. <laughs> Cannon Blast exposed him a little bit, but... Cannon fired directly into the water. And... Ooh! DJ takes out Osh! A lot of the gear... Looks like a lot of the TNT survived. I saw some armor fly off, but that's really, really good. Uh, if... 
DJ wants to potentially make a run on this without much contention. Really, really strong kill there from DJ. So knight's about to fall. Uh, we can see some bets get set. Uh, Mork was the one that was actually running this. He snuck it while I wasn't paying attention. Uh, so he has the light blue wool. Uh, and he's running out. Does he have... He doesn't have the fire res, res potion, so... <laughs> really, really uh, risky there, but he's able to get in and out really quickly. And that's one... One was secured for bulletproof, uh, but the two for for the bug team could be really strong. Uh, Muck... Did he make it out already? Just about. He's just about out with this wall, so he might just... He has the fire's potion, so he might just be going it to straight to the PvE wall. <laughs> Solid strap from the bug team of just let Muck do everything. <laughs> we have three members from the bug team at the second half of this mountain. Uh, Mork is out completely. Uh, Gangplank is here in full diamond. So they might be gearing up for for a really strong uh, parkour wool lockdown. Uh, although we have, s we have a cannon set up, that's not ready to fire in any way. But uh, cannon is set up. Yeah, Gangplank's down here. You're here in full diamond. He he might just very well be here to stay <laughs> with Mork. Uh, do we have an attempt on the PvE wall? No. Kanadamic is running the PvE wall, though. Uh, the real... The real... Uh, time gate for Bulletproof right now is one, Khan not dying in this PvE wall. Uh, and two, they really need to get this PvP wall as soon as possible. Uh, DJ has... Uh, gone out of... Out of the parkour wall. Uh, he might be getting some wood for some doors. To make an attempt on the PvP wall. Although two people from the bug team are at the top of the mountain. Three people from the bug team are at the top of the mountain. They might just be leaving Muck to do this by himself. Uh, Mork did go down. Uh, and Gangplank is in a precarious position. <laughs> uh, one shot will knock him off of his perch. Yeah, this position's probably a little bit better. Uh, he could try to 1v1 Muck, although the, he is very much losing that 1v1. He could try to 1v1 Muck. It's a pretty equal advantage. Uh, Muck has less armor, but the power bow. And Gangplank has more armor, but no power bow. So we have three members of the bug team here uh, trying to break this. So we'll see how this ends up going. Uh, Muck is the one that has the the fire res potions, so he's probably going to be the one running it whenever the time comes. Uh, DJ has set his bet. Oh no! Gangplank got shot out of the world. Uh, that's really unfortunate. That's really bad for Bulletproof. That's a ton of armor, and that's the uh, lockdown. So while that happened, Muck is in the the park already and doing the pass around. So that's Barring a um, misstep, Muck has the light blue wool secured, and he's probably going to be free to just run out. Uh, we have DJ and Gangplank over here to potentially stop him, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And Muck has the fire res potion, so even if he does get shot off, which he does not, uh, he'd probably be able to swim to safety. So that's all three wools secured. Uh, Parkour will being a little bit more difficult than <laughs> than probably intended. Con making progress in the PvE wool. It is really filled with mobs though, so it's not gonna be as easy of a a trek as they probably thought. Uh is that, is that a skeleton that picked up some armor, or is that just a naturally spawn full ar full iron skeleton? Interesting. Alright, so Muck has made it to the top with, with the parkour wall. Uh, he has, has the enchanting table on him for some reason. Interesting. Oh. Gangplank might be resetting his bed. He might have his bed set over here. 
Yeah, his bed set over here. So he just warped over here to the start. They are really low on supplies though, so they're gonna it's gonna be a little difficult trying to stop the victor. <laughs> That's some TNT place. Uh, still no attempt on. Oh, just kidding. DJ's attempting the uh, PV war right now. He's in a little bit of diamond armor. The others oh, a little iffy. Elemental assassin is here though, I'm trying to stop him. Uh, he has he has a gold pick, so he's able to dig through the stone pretty quickly. Um, just needs a couple more blocks that he has to break through, but the power bow is not doing him any favors. Tomek has made it to the top of the mountain, and he's heading for his victory run. <laughs> uh, DJ, yeah, it's just struggling a little, trying to make progress. Elemental's assassin has a really good angle on him, and then now. Cap yeah, Productions and Ash have made it back to the top of the mountain. Uh, Muck died. <laughs> so he was just YOLO victory running, it seems. Uh, so Bulletproof has, has a bit more of a shot now with Mork over here. Uh, although TJ is going to struggle getting this PvP wool. <laughs> He's going to have a very bad time. And his pick broke. So he has to mine through the last couple. Oh, he has a stone pick. Yeah, the, it's gonna be interesting seeing. Probably, what really needs to happen for Bulletproof is Khan needs to finish this PVE wall as soon as possible. Looks like he just probed to the end. Uh, he needs to finish this as soon as possible so he can give some sort of cover for DJ. So Muck has made it back to his stuff. And is he gonna just keep yellow bridging? He could very well just keep yellow bridging. <laughs> Khan has made it to Red Wool. Placing a bunch of safeties on the way. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Right, he made it out of the. more or less out of the really mob, mob filled room. So he has a pretty safe trek back. He needs to get, get there as much as possible to try and get some sort of cover. Alright, so Cat Productions has made it over here to give cover. Uh, it'll be really good to, to cover. Uh, Gangplank and Mork are just naked right now. So just two shots from from the uh, power bow will take him out. But it looks like they have some really nice angles. Uh, I don't think Gangplank can get shot easily, if at all. Uh, he's about a stack of arrows, so as long as he's accurate, he'll be able to to cover for a decent amount of time. Yeah, that, that's a really no DJ foul out of the world. How? <laughs> Did he get pushed out of the world by the... Oh, dry cannon killed DJ from... Oh, from before. Nice. Okay, so that, that's gonna make it a really difficult. There's just gonna be running with iron pretty soon. Uh, Victor, Victor on lockdown isn't gonna be as... as uh, easy as possible without the TNT, too. Uh, Mux is placing some rails and some cover. So, and looks like he's just gonna pearl. He's testing out his pearls. There's a pearl, and he made it to the victory monument. So, one, two, three rolls placed, and the bug team wins it. Really solid match. It, it was a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. Um, but both teams put up some really good fights. Uh, Second wall ended, definitely ended up being being the main of bulletproof. I think they, I think DJ probably could have run it while three members of of the pug team were occupied with trying to get the parkour wall, but he was a little slow in getting here and making progress. So in the end, they were just weren't able to get it up and uh, get it in time. Really, really close match. Even though the the comes through, oh yeah. Uh, even though the kills weren't exactly uh weren't exactly close it was a lot closer than it seems uh all right where's my streamers i am all right so despite the the results of this game bulletproof does finish with the victory for the swiss seating
uh, Pug Team was thrown together for a show match just to get some sort of game so that the stratting that Bulletproof did and practicing didn't get a complete waste. And some really interesting stuff. Uh, Diamond resources going for a lot slower but a lot beefier. Uh, probably could have worked really well uh, had it not been for some some unfortunate deaths. Um, I think Bulletproof wants to alter the interview, so we're gonna go to Bulletproof's channel. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna drag him in there, hopefully, if my mouse will cooperate. Okay. No. Or can you just enter? I don't think No, so. I can't enter. Oh, there I'm we just go. gonna hop in and pretend like I'm. <laughs> oh, hey, Ben. Alright. Hello. Your wish is granted. <laughs> this is all of Bulletproof. Hello? Hello. Yeah. Am I supposed to be here? And Mike? Yeah, Interesting. we're doing an interview here. Oh, I see. I'm DJ. Hi, Hi I'm DJ. Hi, Mark. Uh, we have Connor Drama here. Hi. Mork. Greetings. Uh, and Ryan Numbers. Greetings. And then Mark from Bug Team. So all of oh. Bulletproof and then Mark. <laughs> yeah. Hey. So from what I observed of the match, it seemed like um, Bulletproof had early mountain control, but because Muck only ran iron and not diamond, yeah. he was able to get that up faster and get control before Khan got out with diamond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there was a really good good uh, mountain battle at the start. Uh, Bulletproof got there faster and had people up there faster. Uh, but... The pug team was able to get like a kill or two and just leave leave it as DJ himself trying to to fend off everyone else. Yeah, and I think I did a pretty good job. Yeah, you, you did a really good job until Muck ended up eventually coming with the. Yeah, with the as iron. soon as he had the iron. Yeah. Was there any thought to run the PvP war early when you guys had control? Hmm. If only I suggested that to Khan, but uh, no. Uh, <laughs> did you have yeah. time to run it all? I don't. I think I would have got halfway before they regained mountain control, but I think I could have got it. Yeah, I couldn't get mountain control because I had to swim to the top of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, that that really like messed with us. That was the, the water yeah. just pouring. Yeah, the the, entire... the water updating the ice or the torches updating the ice and turning it into water uh, can help and like prevent your lane from getting completely destroyed from Osh's cannons, but it can also if your cannon gets or if your lane gets destroyed before then then you just have to swim through a bunch of stuff just to get to the top. Yeah. But uh Diamond the I think diamonds could have worked out really well, good for you guys. Uh any, any care to comment Ryan on how the uh how the diamonds ended up getting put to use. Oh yeah. No I, I had a uh a elite position on a, on a third wall, <laughs> but I, uh, I guess it was just too big brain for everyone else and they shot me in with a very underhanded <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys probably could have held that for a little, for a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! At least long enough for DJ to get, to get the PvP wall. Because uh, they they brought three people over to try and mm -hmm. try and get that parkour wall, and that probably would have been perfect time for DJ to run it and sneak it without anyone noticing, especially with that gold pick. Yeah. I think we still had uh, elemental stars on top of the mountain. He was like inside PVE, but he had a good spot for PVE. Yeah, he had a really good spot to shoot DJ. Yeah. Couple, and then Oz had a really really nice dry cannon kill on DJ. Yeah, I missed yeah. that one. Uh, so I just saw him and I saw DJ under the wood, and I was like, no, what happened? It's crazy because in all of our scrims that we did, um, a lot of them, we never encountered anything like that. That was pretty, um, pretty crazy. A little un unexpected. The dry cannon kill? Uh, no, just everything. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, Muck, sorry to hog your interview. You got, you got anything you wanted to say? No, I don't. I didn't really win. So. I mean, you guys were the team that we were actually supposed to be playing anyway. So, huh? What? Bulletproof was the team that was supposed to be playing anyway. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not my game. My game's in like an hour. <laughs> uh, good luck. Good luck. Anything? Anything you guys had planned that you didn't end up using? Or... Yeah, there were several cans that we had planned that 
just because they were able to get up the mountain. So they, they were able to cannon the rest, yeah. Yeah. We had several cannons. So, okay, yeah, the yeah. three sacks of TNT can be really. Yeah. Yeah, Connor, it looked like you were trying the cannon or iron too, but luck got there too fast. Uh, no, I, we didn't. <laughs> we weren't actually planning on cannoning the iron. Oh, okay. I think you placed TNT, had... it might have just been for blocks though. Yeah, that was luck. Oh, yeah, I pillowed out of. Uh... No, yeah, I, t I saw the, the victory run. I was going back to spawn and I just see this pillar of TNT and I'm like, okay, interesting. Interesting. Don't give you any blocks. There's 32 stunned. <laughs> Not enough to. I still I need. I use that for cover. I think. Yeah, There's still like 16 stunned. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, for the pug team, how uh, how. Was your plan from the get-go just have Muck do everything, or...? No, we had Cat run the parkour, but he died because yeah. he didn't know how to run with Speed 2. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm gonna drink Speed 2, and I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't practice with Speed 2, and then he died. <laughs> I, hate running. I hate running at all with Speed 2, I always... Oh, yeah, speed. I don't know how to run with Speed 2, I, always, I just did it with the uh, regular stuff. Yeah, uh, I think we had a little bit of trouble, I think if Ryan didn't die there, I would have a little bit of trouble there, but I still had the <laughs> Ender Pearl, so I think... I was okay, unless I missed, and then we would win. Yeah. And then you couldn't pearl to the monument. Yeah. There. Yeah, I couldn't pearl the monument. That's true. That would have taken money. You have the fire arrows, but I think even if you did get shot at, depending on how early you got shot in, it might not have been enough to save you from the the arrow fire. Yeah, it depends on where you get shot in that That well, it's like it's pretty. Uh, even if you have fire arrows in that it's, it's pretty easy to die because you hard, can't block yeah. them or anything. Yeah. Have to I actually rubble. think that wall is the best lock on the map if you can in the ice. Yeah, I mean, unless you have a pearl, like... Yeah, a or a horizontal Icarus. And if you don't do the pass run right, they can actually shoot you out while you do it, too. <laughs> that actually yeah. happened to me uh, when I was uh, playing Osh. In a different screen. Are you guys screaming? No, this is a pug team. <laughs> I mean, my, my team. My team. Oh, yeah. Impact Just in general. Rush, scrim, yeah. Practice. Alright, uh, I got no other questions. Cool or comments or anything. Um, it's between um, impact and oh, <laughs> there'll be a match between impact and Stefan squad, I believe, in an hour and a half. So you guys should, should fix the face HTML for the server. I'll go um, get it. Yeah. I'm just gonna say that was a sided match because we got a killer bunny spawn. <laughs> Did you guys really? Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Away. I've never seen that before. I didn't think they spawned yeah. naturally. Yeah, I don't like, think I thought they were. It's like, a, it's like one in like a hundred. Yeah, it, whenever they were initially introduced, they could spawn like one in a hundred, and then I think like one of the yeah. snapshots changed that. Yeah, I think I just want to say it's a decided match because our team had Ryan numbers. <laughs> unless, unless they can just spawn with red eyes, but it, it looks pretty scary, dude. Yeah, that, <laughs> Did it have a name tag? All killer bunnies have a name tag that say the oh, killer bunny. No. Okay, okay, then that was just a regular case, bunny. Not a sided match. <laughs> well, actually, I did see a killer bunny update all of our water on. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, that uh, that wither spawn that knocked me into lava at parkour was really unfortunate. <laughs> that was really unlucky. Um, there's also a advantage on right side. There's this mossy cobblestone placed in a strategic I know, it was, it was giving Osh some cover from your shots yeah, while he was building his cannon. I should have destroyed that. Can we yeah, you said this? you were going to destroy it. <laughs> I'm down to replay. You're replaying in an hour and a half, Muck. Thanks, dude. We can replay now. Don't too. worry, it wouldn't take that long. <laughs> I mean, the match was a, was a throw from the moment I threw a book on the sumo ring. <laughs> Where did you sumo? Yeah, we somehow we lost sumo even though Khan was using his <laughs> knockback like, strat, which was really it's odd. Knockback strat? I say knockback strat. My knockback on the server is insane, actually. Yeah, he is super knock knockback on the server. Well, it wasn't enough to that. actually win it though, so. Because we know it. I think his strategy was. Yeah, the other guy had super duper knockbacks. <laughs> cool. 
Cool. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I think okay, that's an hour and a half. I'll get some of the stream it. Uh, I may uh, have. We may have lost because uh, our new skins are inconsistent with our skins in the Hall of Fame. Yeah, they we'll, update. Oh. we'll try and so, fix that. Uh, yeah. That soon. I think we cursed ourselves. Maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Also, to be clear for anyone who is watching or whatever, this is just a show match. Blowproof did get the forfeit win in a tournament, so. Oh, bro, I see final time on the play server. Yeah, he was. Maybe final time is playing this tournament on an alt. <laughs> 404 is coming back. 404 is on alt. They can replace They're actually the a on's trip house. Alright, All right. so that was the show match. Uh, like Vince said earlier, Bulletproof won the match officially. Uh, they won 0 negative 1, I think, technically, against Obey. Uh, I'm not sure. Obey is backing out of the tournament entirely, so I don't know what the plan is for the future so that one team doesn't just get a free forfeit win every round. Um, ben will probably update somewhere on how that's going to be taken care of. But uh, yeah, it, it was it was a really good show match. I it was interesting seeing a couple different strats from Boltproof and uh, really really close close match in general. So uh, he also said in like an hour and a half, Impact is gonna face uh, Stefan's squad. So stay tuned for that uh, on Mountain Mayhem again. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be streaming that. I might be. I don't know. Uh, yeah. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you guys in an hour and a half for the next next match.